Every project begins with an idea, then a plan, and eventually, the idea is turned into reality. Before constructions begin, architects spend a reasonable amount of time planning and creating designs. Often, these designs are correctly executed, and the owners get themselves a new functioning property. But sometimes, plans fail. Sometimes, halfway through construction, engineers and architects notice a defect somewhere. So in this video, we are going to talk about the most expensive construction mistakes in the world. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. The On Center The On Center, completed in 1973, was known for its beautiful exterior made of Italian Carrara marble. A fetching addition to the Chicago skyline, it turns out that there's a reason they don't use Carrara marble on most buildings. It's a very thin material. Just one year after the building was completed, pieces started to crack and fall off, one of them smashing through the roof of the nearby Prudential Center. Replacing the exterior with granite costs over $80 million. There's something to be said for using the right materials the first time. Berlin Airport The Brandenburg Airport, located in Berlin, the capital of Germany, will always be remembered in the history of the country. While preparations were being made to build this airport, it was claimed by the authorities that it would be the most modern airport in the world. But due to many reasons like poor planning, technical flaws, and corruption, it was inaugurated after nine years in October 2020. It cost nearly $7 billion to build this airport, whereas it was to be made for about $2 billion. Accordingly, Germany incurred a loss of about $7 billion due to human errors. Brooklyn Bridge Park the Young Brooklyn Bridge Park is one of New York City's most beloved parks since its creation not too long ago. It's been a major hit with the local residents of Brooklyn, but it wasn't always considered a success. When it was first constructed, a major oversight resulted in a backlash from the course. The architects didn't entirely think through the actual use of the park when they built the playground out of steel, which resulted in the equipment heating up to triple digits during the summer, putting the children in serious danger. Thankfully, corrections have been made since after an enormous number of complaints. Vdara Hotel, Las Vegas Las Vegas hotels are known for their lavish and luxurious amenities, so the Vdara Hotel on the Strip set its sight on going bigger than the other hotels in the area. The architects designed the hotel with a curvature, giving the hotel an incredibly distinct and unique appearance that guests loved. The designers did not account for the effect this curve would have when the sun beamed down on the structure. The curve collected the solar rays and bounced them straight down into the pool, putting patrons at risk. There were even instances of hair and plastic being singed from the scorching heat rays. Stata Center A $300 million mistake One of the world's most prestigious universities in the world, Massachusetts Institute of Technology commissioned architect Frank Gehry to design the Ray and Maria Stata Center because of his unique vision and creativity. The building, when completed, had angles that left onlookers in awe and walls that seemed to be out of this world. Years after its opening, MIT had to sue the architect because the building was plagued with problems including drainage issues, failing walls, cracks throughout the foundation, and more. The $300 million structure ended up being seen as a unique feat, but a costly mistake nonetheless. San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge Eastern Span Replacement, USA In what turned out to be the most expensive public works megaproject in Californian history, the replacement of the seismically unsound eastern section of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge was no mean feat. Work began in 2002 on the earthquake-proof structure, which was scheduled for completion in 2008 and projected to cost $2.6 billion, up from an estimate of $1 billion six years earlier. All sorts of problems arose during the build, including design defects, water leaks, bolt failures, and a welding controversy that led to an FBI investigation. Unsurprisingly, the seemingly endless amount of issues delayed the project and bumped up the budget considerably. Ultimately, the replacement span opened to traffic in 2013, five years behind schedule, with the final bill coming in at a hefty $6.4 billion. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos.
Now, let's get back to our topic. Tacoma Narrows Bridge, Washington. Sometimes the culprit of failing structures boils down to cutting costs. In order to save money, the creators of Washington's Tacoma Narrows Bridge built it with girders that were not up to par. This ultimately led to the bridge, which was the third longest suspension bridge in the world at the time, to sway rather violently whenever wind speeds picked up. Because the bridge was only built to sustain a certain amount of sway, it finally collapsed after sustaining winds that picked up too high. The reality is architects were fully aware of the issue, even naming it Galloping Journey. Amazingly, a local photographer captured the bridge's fall. Vasa Warship King Gustav Iu Adolf of Sweden ordered the construction of a giant warship in 1624. There were 64 cannons of 68 meters in this warship named Vasa. At that time, the Vasa warship of Sweden was the most powerful warship in the world, but due to human mistakes, this pride has become a part of the world. Due to poor engineering and design, it sank 20 minutes after starting its first journey. 30 people were also killed in this accident. Hallens's Rail Tunnel, Sweden Construction of the 5.4-mile Hallens's Rail Tunnel, also known as Scanlink, in southwestern Sweden began in 1992 and was expected to have been fully completed by 1995. Almost from the beginning, groundwater began seeping into the tunnel, presenting a massive problem for engineers working on the megaproject. Compounding the problem, the drill broke down after boring just 59 feet of rock. Adding to the drama, the principal contractor went bust, and the megaproject was taken over by construction titan Skansa, which used a toxic substance called rocagil to seal cracks in the rock. The sealant ended up poisoning fish and cattle in the vicinity. Works were halted in 1997 and didn't resume again until 2005. The tunnel was finally finished in 2015, 23 years behind schedule and hugely over budget, costing a total of $1.3 billion. John Hancock Tower, Boston Boston with its infamous John Hancock Tower, which was constructed in 1976. The building was plagued with many costly problems after its opening, all due to poor planning by the architects in charge. For starters, the building did not absorb the wind as most buildings should, causing it to sway dramatically. The windows of the building also posed a major danger as they began crashing to the floor below as they weren't built to take the heating of the panels. After $5 million and time-consuming projects, the issues were eventually resolved. Citigroup Center, New York When the Citigroup Center building was built in New York City in 1970, there wasn't any space, so the architect decided to build over Street Peter's Lutheran Church, which occupied the site. In order to do so, the 915-foot tower was quite literally built on stilts to hang over the church. From the offset, it's pretty apparent to most people that this design seems really flawed, but developers pressed on with construction, ultimately building a skyscraper that was susceptible to toppling over at the first sign of a major storm or hurricane. In fact, officials calculated the building would come down within the next 16 years of its construction. The city kept this fact hidden from the public taking on a massive project to correct the design, ultimately fixing the Citigroup Center's engineering without the residents of New York City ever finding out until years later after the fix was in. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.